It's working already. <laughs> I can see so many butterflies everywhere. I will show you in this video what I actually could get. Stay in this channel, see this video with me. Welcome back to my channel, Nathalie's World. My name is Nathalie. I'm a travel nut and a travel blogger. I share with you my travel videos around the world, uh, mainly in Asia and also in Europe. And today I would like to welcome you in my new episode about Thailand. Today we visit one more amazing national park, Kayan Krachan, and it's located in Pachatburi province in Thailand which is around three hours away from Bangkok if you go by car. We are going to have a nice hike in this area and I'll try to show you these amazing, beautiful forested jungles with different birds and uh, butterfly species. In my another episode, I told you about Khao Yai, a famous national park in Thailand where you can see wild elephants and many other animals and birds. I really recommend you watching it because it's really very interesting and informative. So check the link above to start. This national park is considered one of the biggest, I'd say even the biggest uh, national park in Thailand, which is covering uh, the area of uh, around 3,000 square kilometers. It was opened on the 12th of July in 1981, and this area is considered to be protected because there are like around 19 different sites between uh, Myanmar and Thailand, which are considered protecting areas. After visiting Khao Yai several times, I decided to explore Kayan Krachan. Near the veranda of our hotel, you can see streak eared Bulbul Mama is feeding her baby. It is found in Thailand and northern and central Malay Peninsula to southern Indochina. It is a medium sized bird with a height up to 20 centimeters and weight up to 36 grams. Bulbu eats both fruit and insects. Fledglings are fed with berries and various insects, including termites. first unexpected encounter was waiting for me in the very beginning of a hiking track. A giant forest scorpion. Its pincers are strong and capable of catching and crushing prey, whereas its venom is relatively weak. If threatened, the scorpion is likely to pinch first and use its stinger only as a last resort. Chan is easy. There is only one main track and all nature lovers take this route, hoping to see birds and trees. However, something cute is hiding not only on the trees, but underwater. Frog babies or tadpoles live happily inside till they grow up to adult frogs.
I'm actually scared of spiders, but I thought that I had to show that one. Northern golden orb weaver is commonly found in many forested areas and gardens of Thailand. Raglai people in Vietnamese Binh Tuan province consume the spiders after roasting and consider them a healthy food source. Can you help me with the name for this insect? Drop comments in the comment box. This park is unique. You can see practically the biggest amount of different birds and butterfly species. There are around 300 butterfly species here and 420 different bird species. Uh, Cayenne Krajan is amazing for birds and butterflies watching. If you want to see more birds, you can take out your binoculars, prepare your camera and go inside the jungle. Bees constructed a huge beehive on the top of a tree. One old and empty hive I found nearby. Don't worry, it didn't have a live bees inside. In contrast with the one I held in my hands in Phuket. Here you can see the chicks of the silver-breasted broadbill are waiting till their mother brings them food. The silver-breasted broadbill eats invertebrates, primarily insects, grasshoppers, mantises, caterpillars, larvae, small and snails. These insects are taken by flycatching from perch or by gleaning branches and foliage. I can see so many butterflies everywhere. There are so many different colors. They are so pretty. Unfortunately, it's a little bit hard to catch them in camera because they move too fast, but I'm trying to. So I will show you in this video what I actually could get. Also, I can hear so many different bird tweets. I can assume there are so many different bird species in here, but unfortunately for now, I don't really see them because they are high in the trees. So I will try to show you uh, a little bit after what I could get from my camera. This is the first time I've seen a sign like that. It is so nice of Thai people to protect butterflies. Tamilia man butterfly can be found in forested areas of tropical Sri Lanka and India. The southern state of Tamil Nadu has recently declared Tamil Yaman as its state butterfly to symbolize its rich natural and cultural heritage in a move aimed at boosting the conservation efforts of the attractive insect. When researchers studied the eyes of common blue-bottle butterflies, they found at least 15 different classes of photoreceptors. Previously, no insect was known to have more than nine. These butterflies have large eyes and use their blue-green iridescent wings for visual communication. According to scientists, common blue bottles use only four classes of photoreceptors for routine color vision and use the ISO 11 to detect, for example, fast-moving objects against the sky or colorful objects hidden among vegetation.
water, giant Asian pond turtle or orange-headed temple terrapin is enjoying its sun bath. It likes to eat vegetables, fruit, and sometimes it might be an animal. It prefers to live in creeks, downstreams, and canals, and hardly gets on land. This bird is very difficult to spot, and sometimes you need to wait for hours and cover without movement and to stay very quiet. The blue-eared kingfisher is found mainly in dense shaded forests where it hunts in small streams. They usually perch on branches overhanging densely shaded streams before diving below to capture prey that includes dragonfly, grasshoppers, larvae, and fish. Here you can see a young water monitor lizard because it hides on a tree. Adults walk on land. Water monitor lizard is a very popular resident in Thailand. You can find many of them in parks of Bangkok. Can you help me with the name for this lizard? Drop comments in a comment box. As I've told you, to see more birds and animals, you need to go deeper inside the jungle. I'm scared now. <laughs> so, I am following my friendly guide named Pon, who knows all the birds and animals' names. Actually, it is he who helped me to identify all the creatures for this movie. I have guide with a very big, big camera to spot many birds and butterflies. Mm -hmm. On the way, we also met two Thai girls, Sia and Nan, who were exploring together with us. Bird watching is a serious hobby in Thailand. Look at all these professional cameras and binoculars. I am also a professional bird watcher now. Here you can see one of my favorite animals I've seen in Kayan Krachan. The black giant squirrel lives in the forests of East Asia. They are one of the biggest squirrels in the world and also are the biggest squirrel which can be found in Thailand. They can grow longer than 1 meter, out of which around 60 centimeters is the length of its tail. Even though they prefer to stay high up in the trees, sometimes they climb down to feed on the ground. Its diet consists of seeds, pine cones, fruits and leaves. They are listed as near threatened. Here you can see a dusky leaf monkey and you can probably mistake it for a gibbon. Dusky langur is found in Malaysia, Burma and Thailand. Spot 
spot-bellied eagle owl is the cutest bird I've seen. Here you can see a baby owl. The spot-bellied eagle owl, also known as the forest eagle owl, is the forest inhabitant species found in the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia. It is a rather large species of owl. It measures from 50 to 65 centimeters in length. It is the sixth largest owl in the world in average and has the ninth longest wings of any living owl. The widely reported weight range for this species is 1.3 to 1.5 kilograms. This owl is noted for a strange human sounding call consisting of a scream which rises and then falls in tone. <laughs> The spot-bellied eagle owl is nocturnal and often spends its day hidden in dense foliage of large forest trees. However, they have been observed on the move and even hunting during the day, especially in forests with minimal human disturbance. Most of its diet consists of small mammals, often small rodents, such as wolves and rats, but they can also hunt prey heavier and larger than themselves. The Oriental Pied Hornbill is found in the Indian subcontinent and in Southeast Asia. Its natural habitat is subtropical or tropical moist lowland forests. The Oriental Pied Hornbill's diet includes wild fruit, especially figs, and other fruits such as rambutans, along with larger insects and small reptiles such as lizards and frogs. All species of hornbills are especially beloved and honored in Thailand as national birds. The crested serpent eagle is a medium-sized bird that is found in forested habitats across tropical Asia. It is found mainly over areas with thick vegetation, both on the low hills and the plains. It is a specialist reptile eater which hunts over forests, often close to wet grassland, for snakes and lizards. The common flame bat woodpecker is found in a range of countries from Bangladesh to Singapore. Its natural habitat is subtropical or tropical dry, moist lowland and mangrove forests. Both sexes have black eye stripes joined to black rare neck stripe. Male has red, female black crown. They have a rather small bill and only three toes. The scarlet minivet is found in tropical southern Asia from the Indian subcontinent east to south in China, Indonesia and the Philippines. They are common resident breeding birds in forests and other well-wooded habitats including gardens, especially in hilly country. The scarlet minivet is 20 to 22 centimeters long with a strong dark beak and long wings. Females are usually yellow with grayish olive upper parts. Males of most subspecies are scarlet to orange with black upper parts. 
This minivet catches insects and trees by fly catching or while perched. It flashes insects out of foliage by beating its wings hard. Scarlet minivet will form small flocks. Its song is a pleasant whistling. This bird nests high up in the treetops. We were very lucky to see this bird, black-side falconet, as it is very small and difficult to find. The black-side falconet is one of the smallest birds, typically measuring between 14 to 16 centimeters long, with a wingspan which is a size comparable to a typical sparrow. The typical habitat is forest and wooded open area. It can also frequently be found around human cultivation, villages, often by rivers, streams and paddy fields. This falconet mainly feeds on insects including moths, butterflies, dragonflies, other termites and cicadas, occasional small birds and lizards. The hill miner is a resident in hill regions of South Asia and Southeast Asia. It is a bird of about 29 cm length. The hill miner is often detected by its loud, shrill, descending whistles, followed by other calls. The hill miners are popular cage birds. In captivity, hill miner can learn to reproduce many everyday sounds, particularly the human voice, and even whistle tunes with astonishing accuracy and clarity. Oh, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I get it. <laughs>